B. We got DM and Whirlpool. DM Ooh. up a little bit, but Whirlpool uh, might go. Yeah, I mean, Whirlpool was from Connecticut originally, right? Yep. Uh, and now Liz Lizzy Maine, right. he was my Rivals of Aether 2 pool captain Ooh, today. Okay. Um, so that was that was nice hey, to, what's up? to see. And DM, one of Massachusetts' best players. Talk louder, I can't hear I you. Mean, like, was seventh on the last PR that Massachusetts yeah, had, that mic but closer, recently in the last year, um, got um. You're coming in as static. Got in uh, as what's it called? As number one player yeah, in oh my God. Massachusetts. Um, so yes. I mean, definitely, one of the uh, best players. I was gonna say it's up to Whirlpool here to make the upset. Uh, definitely still hopeful that it could happen. 142 on DM's first stock as Whirlpool goes down. Oh, the last don't worry one, about that too much. See what happens here. Nair getting beat out by the okay, shield. So uh, DM is Rob and Whirlpool is Aegis. So DM getting the opening with the jab as the Aegis right there. And then getting a center stage interaction. 160% on Aegis. You don't see that very often. Especially with a character like Rob who's yeah. very good at edge guarding. So let's see Whirlpool looking to take the stock here. Back here doesn't land though. DM does make it back to the stage and starts up the Nair here. Good air dodge in from Whirlpool. That's still on the back foot. Oh, the air dodge down is not great. If you're staring down that down air from the Aegis, but it's yeah. kind of looking rough. And Pyra is such an oppressive character in these ledge situations. It's so hard to get around for Rob, but Whirlpool doing a great job getting the laser out of the corner there, trying to find the stock, but just cannot find it. 205%, are you kidding me? Okay. <gasps> if that didn't get it, I would have been very shocked. Same. <laughs> Astonishing to say the least. Big opportunity here for GM to just kind of walk it in, get uh, one or two hits. Um, that one, for example, would have been good, but those are a little bit too much with the up special. Yeah. I always get very scared for the player who gets hit by the down, down smash because it feels like Aegis can go for any option. Right, right. But if you're not positioned for that option, then sometimes they get nothing, which is great. You're very happy. You're relieved. You, you, you breathe a sigh of relief right there for, if you're a Whirlpool, but. Still down a lot of percent in this game, number one. Yeah, not able to get a punish on that up special either. The forward tilt will do it. DM goes up a game on the Aegis. We got Cherry so and Comex going at it on Station C mm -hmm. as we have Station A going to Battlefield for their game three. Yeah. And Kamex is a player I was not familiar with until I went to Garden Brawl recently. New oh, Jersey Sonic yeah. player. Yeah, yeah. Ended up getting like top four at that tournament or something great crazy run, yeah. as like a 25th seed. Right, right. And I was like, all right. Funnily enough, played Kamex in my bracket oh, at Garden Brawl. Goodness. Destroyed me. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, mean, I heard Kamex got fourth, so yeah, rough. But going to town and city for game two here over on Station B. Already Whirlpool on the back foot. So easy to get that early damage as Aegis, of course. You have the Pyra kill moves you have to worry about, but those Mr. Combos are no joke either. Oh, okay, DM. Yeah. Calm down a little bit. I know you're up a game. I know you're feeling confident, but I mean, it's still Whirlpool. So Whirlpool's a great player. Though he also was at like 40%. Like, what would Forward Smash have done? <laughs> you know? I mean, on Town and City, if, nah. you do, if, you get, if you catch DI, you're dead. But it also sends a message. True. Sometimes true. it's not a, it's not about the battle, it's about the war. Okay, that's fair. A little empty hop there from DM not finding the mark. Whirlpool gets out of that situation entirely. And I love the spot dodge that we're seeing from Whirlpool. I will say that DM is a kind of like a he wants one thing and it's disgusting kind of player. Like at when he has his opponent at a percent, especially like he wants down air as Pyro. When he has a character at low percent, he wants Nair as Mithra. So he, he definitely has a, a game plan where it's like, I want this move, 
And it's just about, like, he's very good at choosing when to throw it out. Always catching his opponents off guard, even though you know what he wants. Right. Very frustrating to play against. Yeah, it's tough, but it's also, like, so very effective, you know, knowing the game plan, playing right to it, and then implementing it so flawlessly. It's exactly what GM is looking for. Mm -hmm. Whirlpool will try to make something happen. The gyro and the laser off the stage is pretty interesting. Should be it here, though. Yeah. That side special will do it. 74 on the second stock as they even it up. And DM coming out roaring off the angel platform. Just swinging. I got invincibility. I'm going to use one of the best nares in the game. Why not? <laughs> and again, just throwing up the down airs. That's three in a row, four in a row. I mean, like, you can't stop him. Even though you know he's going for that move, it's just such a strong option. And, uh, you know, I said Whirlpool is doing these, like, really nice uh, you know, spot dodges as the aerials are coming out from DM. But if you don't time them well, that down air is still surprisingly low cooldown. DM's able to throw, like, another move out or jump out of the way before something happens. Gotta watch out here. Does find the footing, but, ooh, big swing still finds even a sour spot. There. Yeah, and Whirlpool is trying to punish it, but wasn't didn't quite space it correctly wasn't ready for that sour spot to hit and ends up losing a stock for it but he's not quite out of this yet but i mean dm has looked in fine form to that and i feel like dm comes alive in these like bigger brackets i feel like in like he's our best like major he's one of our best major level players in new england where it's like like in in new england like he goes back and forth sometimes but like he's so consistent in these types of brackets Oh, I love that air, finding a way around the side special. Trying to find a big hit there at the back air, but it's going to be a big gyro pickup, actually, from DM. Tons of damage right now, and that was nice. I love that. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to go for anything too crazy. I mean, Esam will probably tell you that was an unoptimal <laughs> gyro punish right there, but just getting a bread and butter is huge for DM right there. DM is playing in a way that I couldn't describe with a polite adjective. <laughs> but throwing out a lot of these oh, down airs and up specials, like just really trying to drive home a very frustrating point to Whirlpool here. Whirlpool, though, does find the stock. 121, though, any straight hit will do it. Any throw follow up, it's going to be rough. I think I play a similar game plan to DM in my own, you know, platformer life, which is like, I'm going to pick the same options and I'm going to, and prove to me that you can beat it. And if you cannot beat it, I'm just going to keep hitting those buttons. Stop battle. Mithra.